back to my channel. It's your girl Miss Monificent here. I am glad that you guys could join me. Um, so today I am bringing you guys a Dollar Tree DIY. Have you um, ever looked at these sunglass racks and have you ever noticed how pricey they can be? Well, I was watching um, a YouTube vlog video a few days ago and someone was um, unwrapping the unboxing one and I thought to myself, hmm, I believe I can make that for a lot less cheap. So, that is what I decided to do. So as I was browsing online, I came across this one and this one seemed the most easier for me to make so I decided this is the one that I'm going to try to emulate now if you guys take a look at this price this thing is rounding it off hundred and fifty dollars let's see if we can make this one mm, for a lot less Okay, the items I'm going to be using are these two foam boards purchased from the Dollar Tree. Two of these plastic, square plastic plates. A Lazy Susan. If you can't find a Lazy Susan at your Dollar Tree, you can do the pan method with the marbles. Two pans and a marbles. I'm going to be using two of these mirror square um, glass, I'm sorry, mirror candle plate holders. A pack of the Jot push pans. Um, these next two items I did not purchase from the Dollar Tree. I did pick these up at my local dollar store and they were a dollar, which were these picture frame easels and also these wood dials, but they were still a dollar. I purchased this utility knife in the tool section at the Dollar Tree. going to need your hot glue sticks as well as your hot glue gun let me tell you we're going to put this thing to work we are not going to need the E6000 until the end of the project And I did pick these shears up from my local Dollar Tree as well. Okay, first off guys, I had to start with um, cutting my wood dowels in half because they are still too long. They do sell a longer size, but these are still too long. So I'm just taking my shears and cutting them in half. They do work for the first few pretty good, but after that, of course, they're Dollar Tree shears. They're going to get a little dull, but you can just kind of go around it and then snap it in half. Don't worry about the jagged edges. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I have cut them down. Um, these things, I don't, I don't know if I stated, they are from the Dollar Tree and they are only a dollar. Now, I don't know an easier way to cut these down. I'm just using the supplies that I have, and this is something that I have picked up um, a while before, so it worked out pretty good. Um, after a while, of course, they were starting to get dull, but I just kind of went around the edges, and then I was able to snap it. Now, I'm not so much concerned about the one, the size that has like the little, excuse me, the little jagged edges, because that'll be the side that we that you won't see okay so now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to um, take our 
plastic plate and we want to take one of our foam boards and we're going to start to cut our foam board for the um, shape to fit inside of our plate. Now, if it depends on how many sunglasses you want or how tall you want yours to be. You can cut it, I don't know how well this is showing, you can cut it to, um, you can use this foam board. If you're gonna use this foam board and stay, keep it this tall, then you will need two and you can cut it straight down the middle to fit inside of your paper, your uh, plastic plate. Um, if you want it shorter, then you would just turn it and you can cut it this way. Although you, either way you cut it, uh, you're still gonna need two of these. Uh, flip it upside down and then you can use this inside piece right here. But like I said, you still wanna make your cut just a little bit shorter so that you have room to attach you know, all four sides. I'm just eyeballing it, you guys. You may want to use um, a, a measuring tape or a ruler to measure like the thickness and then double that for, so you can have it for each side and then subtract it for, from your measurement. But for right now, because I'm just freehanding it, so I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Now that I have done that, I am going to take <laughs> my other foam board and <clears throat> I'm going to use that one for, um, I'm going to use that one for my, um, as my ruler. So if you guys are getting what I'm, what I'm doing, I'm just placing one on top of the other as evenly as possible as evenly as possible again eyeballing it because I don't have my measuring tape you guys don't knock me for that but come on it's like little tree bugs because I have my window open you guys and I have a lot of trees around here and they driving me nuts. Okay so I'm just going to try and yeah eyeball it. up my cuts off camera just so I don't make this video too long and then I will come back to you guys um, once that is all done okay guys um, what I am going to be doing all off camera I'm gonna go ahead because this needs to dry um, because I didn't see these in black or white I am going to be spray painting these with black um, spray paint. I already have a bucket of spray paint, a box of spray paint. I told you guys I keep that stuff. Um, so yeah, if you don't have spray paint, you don't want to buy, buy spray paint to make this project even um, less costly, you can leave it like this and make you still a cute little fun little sunglass rack. But I am going to be spray painting my, um, my two plates. Yeah, just the two plates. And I'm going to be spray painting both sides, of course. So yeah, I'll be doing that off camera. And So this is a strip of the foam board that um, I had left over from my cuts. So I'm going to take my push pins that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to count out as many sticks I have cut. Okay, so I do have 28. 
so I'm going to take 28 push pins and I'm going to push these in not all the way just enough that they will stand up Okay, so now I'm going to take this down as well along with spraying my paper plates um, black. I have some silver spray paint already as well and I'm going to put a coat of silver spray paint on these so that my objects can be drying um, in the middle of me um, building my box. So yeah, I'll be back after doing that. Okay guys, I am back like I said. Those items that I painted, they are in the drying stages. So now what you wanna do is grab a pair of glasses or sunglasses that you have on hand. And we're going to begin to make our little, um, our little spots for our sunglasses. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of follow those little marks. Um, I mean, I would say once you go to the next one, like I said, I'm doing all this, guys, I'm just freehanding it. But once you do your first set and then your second set, you want to keep the same measurement. So if you have a ruler handy or some measurement tape, that would probably be best for me. I'm hard-headed. I'm just free-handed. So now what I'm going to do is begin to make um, my little shape that I need. Okay, you guys so hopefully you guys can see that that's what I drew right there so now I'm going to go ahead and begin to cut I'm going to cut my little trace outs right there so that's what I'm going to be doing with my box cutter again okay so yep I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the rest of these off camera because like I said this is tedious and I don't want to make this video too long so I will come back once I have all of these punched out and then when I'm finished with this one I'm going to place this one on top of um, another side and I'm going to use this as a, <coughs> a cutout. I'm going to actually trace it for my next board and then so on and so on. So I'll come back to you once all of this is done. Okay guys I'm back. <laughs> 2,000 years later. No, I'm kidding. Um, I really enjoy these products, I, uh, projects. I know to some people they feel like, well, you know, I just rather spend the money. But like I showed you, the price of the one that I showed you, $149. Why not have a little bit of fun? I like doing these little projects when I have spare time because it keeps my mind occupied. Um, so, I mean, if you feel like you don't have the time, you can always do a little bit at a time. One day you can sit and break up the sticks. Another day you can, you know, do a couple of these carve outs, you know, so you don't have to do it all at once. But okay, so let's on to the next step. Now we need to, um, okay, now we need to place our little sticks in here. Okay, so what we want to do is... And let me see if I can zoom in on this. What we want to do is we want to place our stick and you're going to take the jagged edge, keep the smooth edge out, and we're going to place it just right in the middle, in the middle of your little rectangular like carve out. You want to center it with that and then center it also in the middle of the two. So you can take something to kind of start your little start your little circle and then just go ahead and kind of twist until you have it in ok 
okay and we're just going to start with doing our holes first and the little hole we punctured just go ahead and fill it with hot glue and remember jagged edge goes in You don't want to stick it all the way through and I'm going to show you what it should look like on the back. So here is the back of it. As you can see, I don't have it punctured all the way through. Okay guys, so I am back. As you can see, I took um, all of the boards downstairs to spray paint them. Basically, I was really focusing on the sticks. And I just wanted to show you guys <clears throat> how sturdy this is. As you can see, I am picking it up and it is not moving. And I'm wiggling them and this is pretty sturdy. So that worked out excellent. Now, I've already done three of my boards and I'm, always, I'm almost done with this. So I wanted to show you guys what I did when I said don't worry about your jagged edges and these little cuts. So I'm going to show you guys what it is that I'm doing. So for this part of the project, well this project period, you guys are going to need to bring um, a pack of glue sticks. You're probably going to run through a pack of glue sticks with this project. Um, if not a pack, uh, half a pack if you're using the mini glue sticks like I am. You're also going to need patience and time. Like I said, um, you know, you can do this project in pieces. You know, one day cut down the boards, next day cut down the sticks, next day cut a couple of boards, um, the carvings for a couple of boards, or you know, break it down in pieces, you know, take your time and do it. It's your project. You know, I get it, some people don't have the time and the patience, but like I said, I really like crafting in my free time. It occupies my mind. Um, if you guys don't know, my children are older and it is summertime they are out of school so they stay away a lot with their dad so you know i have a little bit of free time so anyway <laughs> on to showing you guys what it is that i am doing so what i'm doing is taking my hot glue gun and i'm outlining where i cut trying to make a even shape around it nice even shape around it you don't need to touch anything but if you want while doing this you could have um, if you have any plastic cutlery around just to kind of help guide you across some shapes just to shape some you could do that like what you just saw me do how I just kind of you know lined it up so now that I've done all of those um, this is what it looks like I'm just going to try to show you at least two of them so that is what it looks like now on camera you can't really see how cl much cleaner it is but that is not all that I'm going to be doing to clean it up so after I've done that then what I'm going to do is take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to squeeze some all around the edges of the inside and what happens is that also helps with the shape and it sinks into the gaps from the jagged edges of the cuts and it helps create that smooth cut look for you. So after I do this um, I've already spray painted the board mainly focusing on the sticks but this time around I'm going to go back over it again with a can of white and I'm going to focus on our little um, homemade silicone um, outline here so to make it an even more smooth look so we're going to see how that works out so I'm going to finish up the, la the these little couple of squares that I have left and I'm going to take them down, I'm going to paint them and let them dry and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. So um, guys, I'm back and I have it 
spray painted so now as you guys can see it looks a little bit better it doesn't look so jagged so now I'm going to move on to the next step which is I'm going to grab that strip of push pins that I spray painted I like I told you guys I have a bucket of spray paint and I spray painted these using the chrome aluminum that was the name of the color and I think the brand was either ace or rustoleum don't quote me I think it was ace I think it was but um, yeah I did not see any silver push pins at any of my Dollar Trees I only saw the colorful ones and the clear ones so um, in order to emulate the look that I saw um, on that website of the sunglass rack um, I spray painted these silver and so that's the strip I've already placed one in and so that is what we have um, you may need something with a little bit of weight to help you out with this part. I am going to be using my rubber mallet that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Okay guys, I am done. Now I'm going to start to build my box. And this is pretty much self-explanatory. Okay guys, I have my box all hot glued together and I'm hoping you guys can see that I am spinning it around and there is my box now we have to put our top on so I want you guys to see that take a look at that so we could leave it like this and go ahead and finish with the next step or just because I know a lot of you guys like that bling, let's bling this out a bit, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. <clears throat> I'll come back with it all blinged up and then we'll move to the next step, alright? Okay, you guys, I am back. Um, I'm sorry I had to... Um, edit this out a little bit but now I just flipped it upside down and now I'm just hot gluing my lazy Susan onto the um, plastic plate okay guys for my last finishing touches this is where my mirrors are going to those um, this is where those two little candle plate mirrors are going to come into play as well as this right here. Now this is optional or you could do this however you guys choose to do it. So I'm going to put some hot glue on the bottom of these. These are those uh, uh, picture easels. And I'm using the plastic ones. If you guys decide to, um, you can paint these. I am not going to paint it. As you can see, this thing is spinning while I am gluing it on. And that glues perfectly. And this sticks to here with no problem. Quick, easy, fast. It's stuck on there. As you can see, it's not moving at all shaking the whole thing and I'm just going to place my mirror right in there and there you have it spins around you can put your glasses on and check yourself out no problem okay guys I am back and I am done with my sunglass a rotating sunglass display organizer as you can see this rotates very smoothly look at that so um, the one that I have made I made enough to fit um, 24 sunglasses six for each side and there is the bling wrap right there let's take a look at the bling wrap I blinged wrap the inside of the bottom there 
as well as bling wrap all around the top and then the four sides so anyway i thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you guys i thank you for your time i thank you guys um i hope that you guys um like this project if you do go ahead and give it a big thumbs up i really appreciate that i appreciate you guys and um until the next time i will talk to you guys in my next video god bless